OK, so now we've set our calendar up. We have set up our various bits of file information. So we're now ready to get into the detail of entering the project data. Uh, so we refer back to the work breakdown structure that we were given in the handout. Uh, and you see for the office move down here on the left hand side, we have everything to do with finding a new premises. Uh, and then beside that, we've everything to do with arranging the move and then beginning the move and ending the move. Uh, so the way you enter this information from your work breakdown structure into Microsoft Project is to work down the leg of each leg of the work breakdown structure. So in other words, you put in from left to right. So you put in office move, then you put in find new premises, then you put in speak to agents, view premises, etc. down that leg. And when you get to the bottom of that leg, which is to sign the lease, you come back up, you go one over and you put in arranging for moves, arranging for moving, arrangements for moving, excuse me, uh, and order boxes, get quotes, down that one and then over to the next one begin move and down that one and then over to the next one end move and down that one so let's get that text into our Microsoft project so we move back into our Microsoft project and the very first thing we write in our task name column is office move then the next thing we put in is find new premises and then working our way down the leg of the, the find new premises, um, we have speak to agents, followed by view premises, followed by uh, followed by prepare presentation for directors followed by meet with directors and then sign lease. So that brings us to the bottom of the find new premises um, leg of the work breakdown structure. So we go back up now and we start the next one, which is arrangements for moving. And underneath that, we've got order boxes, get quotes, and finalize move dates. Notice it's prompting you for things as you type, but you can ignore that, finalize move dates. And then coming down the next leg of the work breakdown structure, we've got begin move, distribute boxes, pack boxes. Disconnect computers. Disassemble furniture. And move with truck. And then the last leg of the um, work breakdown structure is end move. And under that we've got reassemble furniture, reconnect computers, uh, unpack boxes, and celebrate. So we have all our tasks in, but you're saying that doesn't look very much like a project plan. Uh, so the problem is we don't have the items underneath the relevant um, summary tasks. So take, for example, that last leg of the work breakdown structure, end move. Underneath end move, you should have reassemble furniture, reconnect computers, etc. So let's take them one by one. If you go to reassemble furniture and you go to the task tab, you'll see the indent arrow, which is the arrow going to the right. And if you hit it, it'll then move reassemble furniture under end move so end move will become a summary task do the same thing for reconnect computers do the same thing for unpacked boxes and do the same thing for celebrate and now it begins to look a little bit like your work breakdown structure because these things appear underneath end move and um, doesn't have to be done one by one either if you look at everything that 
it sits under begin move so that's from distribute boxes and I click and I drag and I hold down as far as move with truck so I select all the items under begin with move and I then indent those and they all pop under indent move and then under arrangements for moving there's three items I select the three tasks and I hit indent and they pop in under arrangements for moving and finally I have five things underneath find new premises so I highlight those five rows five tasks and I hit indent and they go under find new premises so bit by bit now my entries are beginning to look more and more like proper entries in a uh, in a in a Gantt chart uh, the one last thing that um, is missing is the office move needs to be created into a, a, a summary task as well uh, so you need to move find new premises in one underneath office move and also arrangements for moving and also begin move and finally also end move and now you'll see everything's aligned up nicely and the way you can check that everything's under the right thing is if you minimize end move everything to do with end move should disappear using the plus and minus there you can minimize and maximize or expand and collapse I suppose is more correct so to, to collapse begin move everything to do with begin move should disappear and then if I click on it it'll expand again and most importantly at the top level office move if I hit the collapse there should be nothing there. Everything should disappear under the office move and reappear. So that's one way of checking that you have your work breakdown structure entered in correctly. So you now have your tasks entered in. Um, and on, as well as that, on that sheet, you were given the durations of each task. So you can enter these here uh, to, right to, beside the task. So speak to agents is two days speak uh, view premises is four days prepare presentation is an hour so that's one and an hour is a h one h uh, meet with directors is two hours so that's a two h and sign lease is one hour so one h so that gives you your your first assignments and notice now that i have the tasks entered with uh, durations this is no longer a question mark here for find new premises because it's able to calculate from the durations that I've entered. So putting in the rest of durations, one day for order boxes, one day for get quotes and 0.5 of a day. So 0.5 and hit return for finalized move dates. And again, my question mark disappears for the arrangements. Then distribute boxes distribute boxes um, is under begin move and it's one day pack boxes is three days and then one day for disconnect and 1.5 for the furniture and a day for moving with the truck and finally 1.5 days for reassembling the furniture a day for reconnecting the computers two days to unpack and celebrating for a day so now you notice there's no more question marks on your screen. You've manually entered the durations for your tasks. And as a result, your summary tasks, those in bold, are now able to calculate um, a, a, a figure. So there's no more question marks. We'll move on in the next video to show you how to then connect uh, those, those tasks together. One final item we were asked to do as part of point seven, entering the tasks and durations, was to mark sign lease as a milestone. Uh, so the way you do that is you look at your sign lease task here, you click at it, uh, you click in it, uh, and then once it's highlighted, you can double click, and that will pull up the task information dialog box. And within that task information dialog box, you will see um, a lot of information to do with the task but under the advanced tab um, you will see the ability to set your task as a milestone so if you click on the advanced tab you will see on the bottom left hand side when my machine is prepared to, to do it for me 
Uh, yeah, exactly. So I'm now on the advanced tab of the task information dialog. And down here, I've got the option to tick mark as a milestone. Uh, and when I tick that to mark as a milestone and hit OK, I come out and I see now that my sign lease has the little diagram uh, or Gantt chart symbol of a milestone. And that's the that completes uh, point seven, which is entering the tasks and marking sign lease as a milestone.